Hello guys. Um, first of all, I would like to say I hope everybody's at home. Um, this um, coronavirus period, we have to be very careful. Uh, work can stay. We have the opportunity to learn. At this time, we have the opportunity to rest. So, since we have the opportunity to learn, and I think I have the opportunity to teach, I have some time on my hands. So. There's something I want to talk about today, um, and that is um, pockets on our caftans. I've noticed that many tailors don't know that these pockets on on our caftans are. Um, it's easier to make them and make them look perfect if if they if we actually pre-create patterns for them so that we can fold our fabric around those patterns and create something perfect and consistent. So if we use this size of, of pocket on this kaftan, we can actually repeat and repeat and repeat because there is there is a pattern for them and, and it's, it makes it easy for us to create different shapes of pockets and different beautiful perfect shapes of pocket. For example, you see this has a curve on the lower part and, and, the, and the straight edge. And I have another one. You see this is well rounded all through. It's going to be difficult for you to create this kind of pocket if you don't have a pre-made pattern to fold the fabric around it. And because of the, the one of the advantages of creating this pattern is it, it helps you create many shapes. Look at this very beautiful pocket we, we created. And by the way, we create very beautiful cartons too. So, in fact, this is the product of uh, pre-shaped pattern. So you see all these rounded edges, it will be very difficult for you to create rounded edges like this and repeat them if you don't have patterns. So I'm going to show you how to create those patterns. I'm going to show you also how to transfer those patterns on fabrics and how to use those fabrics to shape, um, to, to, how to use those patterns to create the pockets by folding the patterns, the fabrics around the patterns. So, see, I have lots. This is the back pocket of the gems. This is the front pocket of the kids' caftan. This is another shape of pocket. This is another shape of pocket. This is, this is pattern for one of our signature pockets. Uh, this is another one, and this is another one. This is for the black I showed you now. This is for the the check fabric I showed you now. This is another one. This is another. One. So what I'm going to do today is what you need to know is how to do how to do this and how to do this. Once you know how to do the rounded edges and you know how to do the straight edges, you can be creative enough to create this. So let's do this. I'm going to show you how to do this and this. So let's do this. What you will need are things you are meant to have at your shop. You need a ruler. You will need a tape roll if the numbers on your ruler are not very visible like mine. You need a pen or a pencil, you need one or two scissors, and you need a card. So I'm going to use this card. Uh, this is from a pattern we don't use anymore. So the first thing you want to do is let's let's cut it out. Now you realize that I'm placing I'm placing my ruler on the edge, 
the edge of the fabric straight so it, it will be a perfect right angle so it will be straight so the lines will be straight so I can use this line as a reference point so we want to create this so the first thing I want to do is since this edge is not very near let's go away from the edge one inch you don't have to do this if you are using a new card you just start from the edge so you don't waste you measure it in two places because if you measure in one place you don't have a reference point for the other places so it can be it might not be straight so to go up and what is the length so we check the length oh yes you are going to need a french cup i'm using a broken french cup it's very cheap it's like one dollar it comes in set set of three i don't need the other parts is what i need so you can get this it's like less than 400 now for the cup part so let's say four inches so all you have to do is measure four inches measure four inches measure four inches rule what's the width of the pocket I say the width is three three quarter so so we have three three quarter three three quarter then we we rule so this is this is the shape so I reduced I reduced the length so next thing we want to do is to get this curve first thing you do well this makes it more difficult so let me say four inches so you don't get confused. Let me say four inches. So the first thing you do is divide four inches by two. Gives you two inches. Gives you two inches. Next thing you do is you realize if you look very closely, you realize that this curve ended somewhere here, and it has to end the same place here. So you determine where you want the curve to end. So let's say it ends here, one and quarter. You rule that. Uh, so the next thing you do is you go from you go from the center to that point. So you use the same you, you this is where we use so it's like just turning it back and using the same One thing we, we we can also do is so we use the big scissors to cut it out. Don't cut the curve here, it might be difficult for you to do. Something else is you realize that this has a flat base. So what you want to do is a flat base. All you need to do is reduce. All you need to do is measure a certain amount. Let's say one inch. One inch. So what you will now do is Place your French curve in 
slides like this. So we won't do it on both sides. We don't have to. So this is what we'll do. We cut as straight as possible. That we have a pepper, pepper part. Then you mind the center of the card. So this center of the card helps you get more, get more accurate. So you just cut your other side. So just cut it down. You have a perfect pocket. So you realize that you have a perfect pocket. Be a bit different, so it's a bit different, but it's almost the same thing. The aim is not to create the same thing, the aim is to create this rounded edge. So always remember that what you want is something that has this kind of base. So then you can do this. But if you want something that has this kind of base, then you do this. So you can be very dynamic. In your production, so we are going to show you. We're going to show you how to transfer this on the fabric. So we're going to show you how to do this. So so let's measure what's the length. Let's say the length is five inches. So we get our reference point from the edge. Of it. Five inches. So what's the width? Say four and a half. Four and a half. So once we get this, but this is very easy. What we need to do is this four and a half. So two and quarter should be the center point. Two and quarter. Be the center point. I know the correct because the lettering on my wire is coming on. So let's cut it out. Using the second line as my reference point. So I fold it. So it's when you fold it into two that you probably see if there are errors in your in your lines. 
so you can just correct the few errors. So you can decide how slanted you want it to be. So let's say I want it to go up. The slant should be up by one inch. Just go one inch. One inch. Then you don't have to cut on both sides. It's more accurate if I cut on one and use the other side as reference point. So just fold it. your work easier, it makes it neater, it makes it more professional, it gives you the opportunity, if you are making ready to wear, it gives you the opportunity to repeat and repeat and repeat the same side. So I'm going to, I'm going to break the video into two, so in, I don't know, maybe in the next video, or maybe I'll join them together, maybe in the next video, I'm going to show you how to wrap this around the fabric and how to transfer this pattern on the fabric accurately, very accurately. So stay hydrated and stay in your houses. Bye.